when can we say the knowledge ends the ignorance ends not the knowledge ignorance ends and when the fundamentals are understood there is nothing to know it is not that you will end up with a lot of facts and books piles of books of knowledge nothing will be <laughs> left there so it's more accurate to say that the ignorance ends the knowledge is of the illusion which will never end in finite because the illusion is infinite how much will you know you know the whole world there are more thousands millions of worlds to know can an ignorant person know that he or she is ignorant you know some people can have a hint that they lack something but uh, they don't know what they lack as soon as they know it is gone if a ignorant person knows he is she is ignorant he or she try to get knowledge immediately the correction will start as soon as the ignorance is known why do people stay ignorant for whole of their lives now many lives no why do they do that this satisfaction is the result of ignorance is the outcome side effect suffering dissatisfaction stupidity bondage like a donkey you are fulfilling everybody else's desires what are these symptoms of ignorance knowing that i am ignorant is the first step to come out of it the ignorance when it is known will no longer remain ignorance for long it won't remain ignorance there is complete belief in that person that i know everything actually the first sign of ignorance is that the fellow is convinced that i know everything i am the most intelligent human on this planet there is the ignorance you see the person with the most hubris and superiority complex has the lowest intelligence on this planet finally it will be known that there is no one who is ignorant there is just ignorance which book has complete knowledge no book has complete knowledge there is no knowledge in the book the book is written after the knowledge is there book is not a source of knowledge it is an expression of knowledge and all people on the path of knowledge should do something like this to get the knowledge which is your own effort isn't it direct experience and logic in the hint of the guru these are the ingredients of the recipe of knowledge now write the book recipe book right yes book of me <laughs> my book you can write i book no i is a fashion nowadays to put i everywhere with so much ego involved you know consumerist people i means great it is going to sell the product so write the i book who am i <laughs> so everybody is doing it you should also write your own the recipe is done first then the book is written have you ever seen a cooking book where the cook knows nothing about cooking and writing books or he knows everything simply because he read the cookbook never cooked anything in his life is it possible same way there can be knowledge in the books which will be expression of what the person knows but you need to get your own knowledge we have thrown out the books as a source of knowledge they are useful only after you get the knowledge and they are useful for the illusion obviously very useful for the illusion experience is dependent on the experiencer state your opinion is experience dependent on the experiencer how is experience dependent on the experiencer there is no experience without some experiencer no experience without the experiencer the relation dependence assumes that one follows the other right your child is dependent on, on you let us say social situation so you have a independent existence without your child and let us say the fire depends on the fuel so fuel is already there then comes the fire which is which cannot happen without the petrol or oil or whatever coal is something like this happening suraj is saying yes experience is the essence of all experiences that is also true the essence comes out to be the experiencer but we are not talking about it what is the essence of the existence can we have this kind of dependency relation between the two the relation is of oneness not of dependency the word hints towards a very peculiar relation but it's not a relation it, it, it takes two to relate 
it takes two to relate it is only one is, is a relation possible is dependency possible like i gave you the example of fire the fuel exists without fire also but the experiencer does not is never seen without experience amazing and the experiences was never seen without a body and so that is the cause of the illusion I and mean, that is the cause of the ignorance that the experiencer depends on the body there begins the materialism and the root you can trace it to the word dependency because the word dependency was not understood by the materialist argument is the body comes first then comes the experiencer of the body which is dependent on the body is this argument correct obviously totally illogical stupid argument the body was never seen without the experiencer so the idealist has a opposite uh, uh, argument like the experiencer is the fundamental and the body appears in it so the body is dependent on it and that is the you know trademark of shivism and some other philosophies but non dual non dualist knows in this whole universe you know only non dualist people know others i don't have any good words for them so very convenient to talk in dual language because that is what our intellect can grasp can the intellect grasp the non duality no so it is very uh, natural for these kind of confusions to be there what is dependent on what you are tra- trapped in duality most of the time we are discussing duality i mean there is nothing to discuss in non duality it is silence isn't it the end of seeking instead of end of ignorance yes yes you are also right you are also right end of path end of seeking end of trouble end of suffering when you know your true nature it ends so many things isn't it end of bondage end of birth death and so on you see the fruits are many so but we are focusing on the knowledge here when when you get the knowledge the seeking is obviously going to end what are you seeking now that's why you know i urge people to not to get lost in the illusion so much you know in the practice you know i i kill their practices all of them because <laughs> what are you doing with knowledge it is just habit you are you are mechanically doing your practices even after getting the knowledge it is like you know you turned off the fan and the fan is still going on why simply put a broom in the fan to <laughs> stop it can we understand that likes and dislikes are majorly due to our pre allocation of course some are acquired over time of this life due to sweet or sour personal experiences yes yes perfectly right many of your likes and dislikes preferences i call them preferences because anyway so they are mostly coming from your pre allocation which is not a correct word it comes from your causal body so you get the you can say a fragrance of your past lives there in the likes and dislikes and preferences which you can see in the children little kids they come with a built in personality if you observe carefully not all of them some are raw some are blank slate but many of them so and in this lifetime also we see again accumulate many of the preferences the old can change new can come and so on i am the self the self is just a witness of all experiences and there is no free will then do we need to play a double role one role as you have realized who you are and other as one as per the ignorant environment in which you have to live no 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 don't open the doors of mental asylum don't <laughs> you have to play only one role which is being a human whatever environment it is play the role of human can you play the role of the experiencer or the self no you are originally that you see when an actor is playing the role of let us say a, a, a hero superhero so is he playing two roles in the movie one which he is in the real, real life and the other batman is it possible no he is only playing one role of the batman and then he realizes he gets a glimpses of what act he is actually is outside the screen out you know outside the view of the camera same way actually he is always he is always in the knowledge of what he is but he is playing the role of for the movie the whole illusion is a movie 
you need to play your role there you all learn enjoy fulfill your desires struggle suffer this is the movie it has all the you can say masala movie of bollywood in the end there is no marriage you know except that it is bollywood <laughs> then you don't need to play the role of self you are the self let this play happen in this background of peace and bliss of what you are so you are the screen you are not the movie don't try to make the character out of self and try to play it on the screen what kind of ignorance is that we'll never do that what is the meaning of awareness simply knowing that i am the screen and then letting the movie play on the screen is that difficult no it is easier than breathing can you talk about astral projections and the difference with projected states is a similar technique used to induce it yes it's yes, very similar and uh, the word projected states is a general word which is spectrum of all projections is under the word projected states comes all the possible projections astral is one of the possibilities only so astral projection comes from the western occult and uh, you will find that many explorers they use this but there are many more who will also talk about other kinds of projections for example the etheric projection the mental projection and um, projections in the lower worlds and in the higher worlds they differentiate between a lot of projections uh, there are various experiences under the word projection now the biggest projection and the most important one is that which is happy, happening right now your waking state is also a projection but we never call it astral projection so astral projection is something which is identified with emotions actually when you are astral projecting you land immediately in a desire fulfillment zone there are specific techniques to do that but let us say there is etheric projection or you can say even the ectoplasmic projections those who are in the occult they know all these things they are more difficult to achieve and they are more life like by life like i mean more like the waking state the astral will be more like the dream state where you get the dream body but it will be also very convincing actually these series of projections can happen as all your bodies detach from the physical this is occult language please don't assume that there are bodies and they detach this is cryptic language when you get the experience you will know why this language is being used like this so you can start with the etheric and the etheric body then loses energy you know and then the astral starts then the astral loses energy and the dream starts something like this and then waking starts it can go like this in cyclic manner so it, what is the difference projected states include all kinds of projections astral is you can say that specific kind of projection but uh, there are opinions about it in the occult world there there will be difference of opinion about what is the meaning of astral so what did we do in our program obviously we threw out the corrupt words throw it out meaningless now when you get the knowledge of the layers you can associate one projected state with one layer am i right or a group of layers like in the waking state the physical and so on up to up to you can say the emotional has been manifested in the physical form the pain and pleasure and all what are these things they are you know these group of layers they have been manifested whatever you call as human being it is a projection of the memory is not real memory only but then you see what happens when the attention shifts from this lower layers they are not lower actually they are simply other projection but when you shift it to something else by shifting i mean completely forgetting the lower by forgetting i mean you see it's very difficult to mix the occult with the path of knowledge you have the knowledge of what you are in the waking state but you don't have the experience that is what we call forgetting sleeping and there you know which of the layer will be activated first it will be in the etheric the, the just above the nervous system because the nervous system and below has been put to sleep 
no knowledge of it now so that is the first one that will be induced if you want to induce something what do we do our techniques should reflect it like he has asked about the techniques also so our techniques they are dependent on what kind of projection you want so i have given a general technique you know shift your attention to any layer you will get that projection just when you stop listening to your inner sound the ringing in the ear the hissing sound of silence there you have achieved a suppression from the nervous system that is the etheric projection most of the people will find themselves still standing in the room or floating in the room there is no place to stand there no floor no room they find themselves in a energetic copy of physical so but you can you can leave it you know it's very limited almost physical then there comes the astral which is you know now the world of emotions desires little bit of intelligence yes that is the proper astral and then comes the higher projections which you all know what they are like when you are reading the akashic records it is a very high kind of projection you cannot call it astral but because of widespread ignorance about the states and projections and so on uh, there is not enough terms in english language i mean who knows there can be terms in the occult language but uh, and i have never seen many terms in sanskrit also and because this knowledge is kept uh, so confidential that there are no proper words and for the first time in our program we have opened it still i am not i am not giving them any specific names no specific names are given i simply say look there is a projected body corresponding to every layer and sometimes the neighboring layers they are grouped in you know they get the the influence the experience so technique is mostly shifting of attention forgetting of other layers that is the basic technique you can build your own technique to do that you can build your own technique so i have not given any you know too much detailed technique you can find them in books anyway so i have not given them there are very good books on astral projection and other projections and there are some books on mental projections where in the guru field and all those things comes from 